Good afternoon everyone, in today's video we're going to be talking about the notable effort fallacy, which is a rare fallacy to see in the real world, unless someone is talking about religion, and in today's video we have an example of someone using religion as a justification for the execution of this fallacy. So as always, that's definitely going to be very interesting. Say hello to S.J. Thompson. Logic can lead anyone to Jesus. A simple assessment of why the apostles were willing to die to prove that they had seen the risen Jesus is enough to prove Christianity. Something being true or not is not dependent on the level of efforts that people put in to try and convince others that something is true or that it isn't, and that's worth noting right away. That should be the most important thing that people take away from this video since this is a video discussing the notable effort fallacy, and that's what the notable effort fallacy is. It doesn't matter if people try to do crazy things to convince people that their positions are true. If their positions are true, they're true irrelevant of how charismatic or how successful someone is in convincing someone that they're true. This is far from the first time a Christian has made this particular argument, and it's an interesting argument. It's one that's fun to read and contemplate, but the reality is it's not a particularly good one, not the least of which reasons being because of the fact that other religions have martyrs as well. Lots of different beliefs have martyrs, and those martyrs also demonstrate that their religions or their beliefs are true or are logically sound if someone applies the same logic universally instead of selectively using it to bolster whatever their particular agenda is. And that's something that's very frustrating, it's something that's worth talking about, and it's something that's worth rightly criticizing them over. Because this is a very common application of the notable effort fallacy, and it's rare because the notable effort fallacy doesn't often appear outside of religion in the modern world. This is far from the first time a Christian has made this particular argument, and it's an interesting argument. It's one that's fun to read and contemplate, but the reality is it's not a particularly good one, not the least of which reasons being because of the fact that other religions have martyrs as well. Lots of different beliefs have martyrs, and those martyrs also demonstrate that their religions or their beliefs are true or are logically sound if someone applies the same logic universally instead of selectively using it to bolster whatever their particular agenda is. And that's something that's very frustrating, it's something that's worth talking about, and it's something that's worth rightly criticizing them over. Because this is a very common application of the notable effort fallacy, and it's rare because the notable effort fallacy doesn't often appear outside of religion in the modern world. Over the last couple of centuries, we as a society and we as a species have gotten better at demanding evidence pretty universally. While there are a few areas in which we're weaker in this, such as when it comes to religion, we are getting better and better with every passing generation at demanding evidence consistently and at actively searching for it. And the reason why we recognize this fallacy as a fallacy is because of that. And that's a wonderful thing, but we need to continue working for it, because obviously we are not quite at the level where we can recognize every single application of this fallacy. And this tweet and this entire conversation is proof of that. Hopefully one day we will reach that stage where we know to demand evidence for every wild and radical claim just like this one. Feel free to let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I personally enjoyed making this video. I think it's important that people understand the notable effort fallacy, and I also think it's important that I improve my understanding of it. If you think that what I said is incorrect, if you disagree with my assessment of SJ's tweet as an example of the notable effort fallacy, I'm hoping that you'll let me know. And if you agree with me, or if you have any suggestions, if you think that I didn't go far enough, if you have just any ideas in general, I would absolutely love to know what you're thinking in the wake of watching this video. Inordinate Refraction is fairly new to YouTube, especially within the YouTube atheist community, but she is an awesome debunker, and her content's gradually gaining more subscribers, so go check her out. She created the artwork I used in this video, as well as helped teach me how to do the looping background that you guys saw, and that I am gradually starting to master. I hope you guys have a great day, and check out her content.